and welcome to the making of the package two. Uh, it's not day one. Actually, we're quite far in. It's December, and we started in August. So, um, as you can see here, is the set of the film. Yeah, just switch this lamp on. I'm actually just about to build another set for um, scene six. Um, We've done the chasing, but there's indoor bits that we need to do, so we're going to we're gonna film these indoor bits. I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah, um, gonna require a few uh, red bricks. Here's all my other bricks, and um, yeah, this should make quite an interesting uh, little video. So you can see here that um, I've got a small-ish looking set and I can just take him out and show CD at the back here. And I know it doesn't look quite like the car, but trust me this is the best I can do because it's really, really hard to film inside a car. So this is what, it'll look okay actually, I think it'll, it should look okay. So yeah, there we go. Currently in the middle of building an alleyway. I'm just looking at the Empire State Building, so you can see here, Got quite a big alleyway to allow for, um, well, for uh, easy animation. Then uh, you've got a quite a humongous-looking road here, and then there we're going to plunk the front of the Empire State Building, and we're doing something quite uh, make it work better. So. You won't be able to see past here because if if we get the camera filming right, um, I have Jonathan with me who has just finished writing the script over there and just pages. yeah <laughs> just finished uh, uh, also doing his voicing as well. So um, yeah, okay. So we've built the uh, set and this is looking quite nice. We got a lot of people on here now. We are on frame, what frame are we on? This is 41. 41 of 375 frames, okay. That is the extent of it which we're filming, so it's a little bit uh, over the top. I mean, you know, you can see uh, there's a lot of people to move, and we're actually focusing just on those two and him doing a little monologue thing. And uh, yeah, it's looking really good actually. So uh, we should probably get on a bit more. Um, but yeah, when we're further on, I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, so uh, now we're on the uh, elevator scene, and uh, currently we've got my camera set up in the position of the uh, CCTV camera here. Uh, CCTV camera here. CD's currently uh, quite nervous because he's got a package which he believes to be a bomb. So um, this is just before an action scene, and we're not going to film that today because it's going to be too much. We haven't really got much time because it's already just gone part yes at half eight pretty much uh, so yeah um, it's quite a nice it's quite a small set but this is our last little bit and we've done and you can see the remnants of the interior of the Empire State yep first scene just behind here some pillars just over there yeah and here's the secretary 
uh, desk, which is still in the same position. And a few seats. And there you go. We've done about, I think, a minute and a half, a minute, a minute, 50? Uh, yeah, it was, it was like a hundred. Like yeah, so that's, that's pretty good. Still doing part two in scene five. As you can see, I've got a CD on the screen. Uh, it's looking quite, it's looking quite good. Um, uh, this guy here has just been sniped in the head, so obviously it's not looking too great. A little bit worse for wear. And uh, well, and uh, yeah, it's coming on really nicely actually. Um, yeah, we should be. Oh, well, God, no, we're about halfway through now, which is not bad. Ah, hello, I'm just working on um, oh, part two, scene five, the uh, action sequence, which is going to involve a lot of policemen getting beaten up. Okay, here we are, recording uh, some of the tiny little additional footage we need to do. As you can see, desk is very, very messed up, but yep. uh, there's literally about 20 seconds at the most left to do. Um, if you can see here, this is actually a security. Wait, where is that? Oh, there's the zoom. Oh, wait, you can't zoom whilst you're recording. Okay. Uh, so you can see this guy here. And uh, he's going to notice. Well, actually, no, you'll have already seen this in the movie, I should imagine. Interesting. Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Build the set from uh, the beginning of scene five where TD snipes uh, the guy who's holding CD hostage, Ike. And uh, this is. No, no, this guy. You can't actually see him. Oh no, you can't see him. But uh, yeah, he's actually the. Um, 
uh, other agent. I keep saying uh, right. Um, so yeah, just about to film him. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll say it, zip wiring through this window, and then TZ's gonna pull out like a big nice sniper rifle or whatever, and he's gonna snipe the people. And it's quite an important conversation. So yeah. Okay, so uh, we're animating, or reanimating a police scene. As uh, you can see here, just sort of redoing a little bit there. Looking quite good so far. And later we're going to do part two, scene eight, um, and the epilogue. Okay, we have now finished scene 8, so technically the movie is finished, but um, we still have epilogue to do, the bit after the credits, you know the bit after the credits, because technically you'll probably be watching the behind the scenes after the film, I would expect. Um, so uh, yes, this is how the set looks, it's been pretty uh, intense, uh, only bits left to do, the epilogue, one tiny little scene. Uh, like watching the CCTV cameras, I think. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I need to take one picture of the inside of the uh, package. Still need to do that. Oh, right, yeah. And then there's a whole load of CGI stuff. A um, whole load of editing. Um, yeah. So it should be good. I've got it set up. A few buildings. One random building here. It doesn't really matter which building I use. And I've got these lamps set up with uh, little um, uh, spot lights here. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm doing an overhead shot of uh, the Empire State Building. As you can see, my computer is significantly lagged. Um, look, look, look. Oh my word, look at that. i just give you like a view here. The uh, thing. Look at that, see? So, um, significantly lag. Uh, this is the first experiment. Um, what I decided was the Empire State Building here was half the size of what I needed it to be. I mean, it came out really nicely actually, but it was just too small. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, double the size of that or make it significantly bigger. So what I'm doing now is creating not the most memorable scene, but uh, still a very 
uh, important uh, scene. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, but still a very important scene in which the elevator stops, starts, and everything. Just see the setup here. It's all contained within this box which I built. Got some cables, a ladder. Basically, how it looks in the film. And it's not even that big of a model as well. Right, currently, um, I'm working on uh, this scene, the rooftop scene, the first one in part two, scene one. And uh, I've actually found that my computer has become so slow from all these buildings that I've actually had to switch it to wireframe mode. Not even that, it's sort of like a crappier version. This is wireframe, uh, this is what it looks like. And this is solid, this is not like lighting. I mean, it's quite elaborate. There's a lot going on here, it's quite eating up my memory. But uh, yes, this is looking rather good. And uh, well, I guess you must have seen it in the film. Yeah. Um, I've actually, what I've done, if I show you the setup, is actually position them like this, sort of back and stuff. It's kind of how we did the um, free running scene, where we had a uh, little mini buildings placed in different positions to give depth and stuff. Also, um, I'm currently doing like a sun, like a flare effect. If I try and preview it, I mean, again, computer is slowing the almighty Windows loady circle thing is um, slow. Right. So currently you can see there's a sun there and it's giving off a little lens flare and that's sort of the thing I'm working on here. So uh, yeah, it's going good. Okay, here I am currently working on the airport sequence. The bit where the plane takes off. This is just, I've actually had to set it into wire mesh form because uh, it's lagged up the computer. Um, show you what it looks like currently, uh, eventually, when this thing has finished loading. And. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. Right, so that's what it currently looks like. Um, just trying to arrange the lighting slightly, but uh, if we go solid here, yep, you can see how this is working out. Yeah, very, very like this, but works, and then it's just like blah, blah, blah. But yes, I recently just built the uh, plane, literally about an hour or two ago. Need to put in a few more planes down here, and then I'm ready to render.